What's up everybody, Jesse back here. Today we'll be looking at the uh, SH Figure Arts Android 17 and Android 18 figures. Like I said in uh, one of my previous videos, I did want to uh, go back and look at the old um, the old DBZ line, the other figures in the, in the line since I've been taking a look at the, the 2.0s. So if you guys want to keep seeing more of the older reviews, the older figures being reviewed, uh, just hit that like button. Let me know that that's what you're interested in. Comments below as well. So without any further ado, let's get a look at these packaging. Here we have both Android 17 and 18. The old style packaging. We have Android 17 there. We have a nice little picture of Android 19. And in the back, we have, you know, the poses that they used to show off before. And to be honest with you guys, I'm actually quite fond of these boxes more than the uh, the new ones. I'm not a real big fan of the new ones. But, you know, what can you do? So, let's get these guys out of the packaging and see what they all come with. Alright guys, here we have them out of the packaging. They're rather small looking figures. So, let's look at their accessories real quick. 17 comes with a slew of hands. He has his key blast hands. He has his martial arts posing hands. Also, some more posing hands. He has a relaxed hand, some karate choppy hands. He does come a hand with uh, for his gun. He does come with an extra holster piece. We'll be taking a look at that out the packaging as well. Just want to show you guys how the how the uh, tray looks, but we'll be looking at all these in detail further. Comes with two extra faces, uh, a moving scarf piece, some shoulders, and like I said, we'll be looking at all these out of the out of these. But I uh, just want to show you guys. Andrew 18 comes with a Krillin head, an extra Krillin head for when uh, she's kissing him. Comes with a hand for Krillin as long as well as the. Uh, the remote device to shut them down, some crossed arm pieces, six uh, extra set of hands, hair pieces, and faces. So, like I said, we will be looking at those. So let's take a look at 17s real quick. Get this guy out right here. Now, I haven't really messed with these guys since I got them. So it's going to be uh, a little weird for me to look at these. So the faces, here we have 17's uh, smirking face, his cocky, confident face. We have a battle pose face. I really like the, the paint detail on these guys. Something to be said about these, uh, some of the older figures, they had a really amazing like paint apps on the faces and things. Comes with an extra hair piece. So what you would do, just pop this right here. As you can see, Android 17 and uh, I believe 18 as well come with an already small little peg here. So you can pop it into the uh, into the the neck. Just pop that in here, and the hair has a notch up top, two holes right there, and a square peg right there. So it just kind of fits in. Whoops, sorry guys. So in case you wanted to get uh, seventeen action poses, you can have him, you know, dashing forward with the uh, the added scarf as well. Let's take a look at the uh, cross arms. Now, I don't think this is one of the first figures to have crossed arms. I think, uh, I want to say Frieza was. And Frieza, it's weird that 17 and 18 both come with crossed arm pieces, but they also, they're also so very different from one another. 17, as you guys can see, pops off in the whole entire shoulder. Whereas 18 keeps a tradition. Let me go to hers real quick. 18 keeps a traditional pop off at the bicep. You see? Which is a little weird to me that they would do that. I kind of like this one a little bit better. But it does create for some issues. So once again, this is a smirking face for <clears throat> 17. And uh, here we have 17. With his default face. Now to change that, just... Pop it off from right there. And you just make sure it pops into place. Of course, because I'm on camera, it's not going to... Well, it didn't really snap in there, but it's in. You get them to some, you know, running poses. Try 
charging up. So that's pretty cool. I'll put that aside here. We'll look at uh, how to interchange this in a little bit. It also comes with a, a different belt. I believe that the belt is included. It's attached to the holster. So if you wanted to have the gun drawn out, unfortunately you can't remove this piece. You can't like untab it or remove the gun. You actually have to untab the whole entire thing and replace it with the holster that's here and put the gun in his hand, which I think kind of sucks. I think they should have given you that accessory. Like you went all this way to mold it properly and have the tab in there. The least you could have done, Tomashi, is uh, allow us to actually take that gun out. And in case you wanted a belt, you wanted to have 17 without the, the gun holster, you do is pop off the torso and remove the belt and replace it with the added belt they gave you. So, yeah. It's pretty cool. Nice little touch. They didn't really have to do that. But they decided to do that anyway. So you can't go wrong with that. <clears throat> right. So as uh, for Sculpt, let's take a look at this guy and his articulation. 18. We'll have you just chill on the back right there. So 17's head is a full... You can do a full 360. His hair will get in the way sometimes, depending on how you have him posed. Goes up and down. Shoulders move out about that much. Can't do a full 360. Just keep in mind that uh, his shoulders are a little weird because of this little shirt piece right here, a little flap there. As well as uh, his shoulders are a little bit different. Because they are intended to pop off to be able to uh, interchange his arms. He has a diaphragm joint, which you guys can see right there. So he can crunch just a little bit. Not too much, nothing too fancy. Waist swivel, obviously full 360. This being an older figure has the uh, older, older hip joints. Legs can go about far that much. Knees bend. You do have the thigh swivel right there. You have foot articulation. A little bit of a swivel. And a toe joint that barely moves at all. In terms of sculpt, here we have 17 with his favorite shirt, as he told Gohan. Very nice sculpt done. Very little paint applications on there, but it's done pretty well. He has his torn uh, torn jeans, his green socks, his uh, shoes look pretty good. Oh no, it's a decent figure. You know, can't say too much about the older figures. You know, we got what we got. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the shoulders. So I haven't done this in a while, guys. So let's uh, whoo, let's try to be gentle with these. Oh no! Hm. Right, as soon as I say that, I just start uh, going to <laughs> like trying to rip it off. There we go. Like I said, you just want to pull that off right there from the socket. Get that out the way. Yeah, come on. God. I guess they <laughs> I guess they stopped doing that one. Like they tried it with 17 and then they said, nah, never mind. Because I guess people were scared that you might actually break it. So you want to just looking for the peg right there. This is a soft rubber plastic, so you don't have to worry about it like snapping on you, but just be careful with that. And here we go. These do not come apart. They don't come apart, so but these are movable right here. But the arms don't come apart, so it's a little bit different, a little bit uh, sketchy to try to get them on there. So, and then you just snap it in place. And uh, this one is, there you go. Snap it in place and there you go. You have 17. Crossed arms, baby. So we'll leave all this 
out to the sides, put his gun holster back in there. I think it's stupid the way they did that, but we'll keep 17 looking pissed off over there while we look at his twin sister. So here we have 18, Android 18, in her first appearance with rocking the, you know, red ribbon gear. Denim on denim girl with them, with the boots, putting boots to asses, mostly Vegeta. See, her, like, her toe hinge works a little bit better than 17's, but. Let's put her right here. Now let's take a look at her faces and accessories. A little bit more. She comes with, uh, comes with more faces than 17. Which is, uh, not an issue. So, here we have... So, the one I have on her now looks like she has a smile on there. I think this is just her regular base face. It comes with a extra hair piece, much like 17. What you want to do is you want to line these up with the pegs correctly. Line it up, get right in there. It comes with an extra hair piece as well. Make sure you line everything up. Which sometimes can be a pain in the ass. Not going to lie. We are doing all this on camera. There you go. Got the windswept hair effect. Just make sure you snap everything in place. And you're all set to go. So there she is with that face. We have the kissing face when she's kissing Krillin. Whoops. And we have her looking off to the side. Like, bitch, you talking shit. So, yeah. That's what we have for her. Now, let's take a look at her articulation. No 360 for her. This looks a little loose on mine. I didn't buy these brand new. I bought these used off of eBay. I did get lucky with them. So, her hair and head, full 360. Not gonna hinder much because she doesn't have a scarf piece like much, uh, like 17 there. Head moves back that much. Could look down that much. Obviously, side to side. Arms go that much, which is pretty cool. Full 360. Got the bicep swivel. Elbow joint. Whoop. And of course, be careful, the arms do pop off easily because they are made to. Because you switch out her hand. I mean her, her whole arm for the crossed arm poses. Wrists. In and out. Got that joint hidden very nicely in there. And I just realized that I missed that whole entire section. With uh, <laughs> with 17. So as you guys can see. Same thing. Has a bicep swivel right underneath that shirt. Double joints. Same thing with the, uh, the wrist. Same as 18. So excuse me guys. So here we are. Back here. Now, this is a soft rubber piece right here, which is pretty cool. So, in theory, you can remove it. Like the, the back half is sculpted. She does have a little halter top. But, as you can see, you do not want to remove it because nothing else is sculpted underneath. You have that horrible shoulder joint there showing. So, yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> it looks really, really bad. Skirt piece, again. Super soft rubber. Like, I like that they did this. I don't... I don't understand why uh, other figures, newer figures, couldn't utilize that. Super Saiyan God Goku, I'm look I mean, uh, S is blue, I'm looking at you. And uh, Trunks, Xenoverse Trunks, I'm looking at you too, you asshole. Tamashi, why didn't you give us soft rubber pieces like this? Legs can go about that far. If you want to extend them, you can. It's not going to hinder much because you see this is soft and it will move. Tamashi, why didn't you give us other figures like this? Knees bent that far. You do have a, uh, excuse me, 18. Do have thigh swivel. In there, so without this, you can do the splits quite evenly. As you can see, it's pretty sweet that it separates like that. Then it goes right back. Boots. There's no some boot swivel here. Which does have ankle articulation. Legs can go up and down. Toe joint right there. 
and she does have a waist swivel. She does not have any any cuts here for any um other torso um, moves, but what can you do? So yeah, on to uh giving her the cross arm poses. Just pop off the shoulders like you would for a uh, Frieza or Trunks or Vegito. And make sure you line this up real nice. Come on. It's gonna be a pain in the butt. It's kind of one reason why I like uh, 17s better. Cause you don't have to worry about these pegs or nothing like that. You just pop them into the shoulder. Come on, 18. See, yeah, that's the problem with, with these older figures. Like, I'm trying to push it in. But at the same time, you got these these shoulder joints. They're moving outward. So it's not helping me. That was one of the issues. Never, uh, never liked that. Of course, because I'm doing this on camera, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Bet you if I was doing this just to get a shot. For Instagram or something, it would be so much easier. All right, 18, let's try it again. Just try to finagle that in there. Wiggle it, wiggle it, come on. Come on, what's going on? Don't do this to me. Don't be that person. All right, well, you guys get the idea. It works, it doesn't work. Not as much, not as good as the other ones. So there you guys have it, Android 17 and 18. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Let me know if you guys want to see the older figures being reviewed as well. Hope you guys have a good one. Later.